A spacecraft changes parking spots at the space station, a surprising look at a star in another solar system, and small satellites that could be a big help tracking tropical storms. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On May 6th, the International Space Station's Expedition 69 crew members who flew to the station as part of our SpaceX Crew-6 mission relocated their SpaceX Dragon spacecraft. The crew, including NASA's Steve Bowen and Woody Hoberg, moved the Dragon to another docking port on the station's Harmony module to make room for an uncrewed SpaceX Dragon cargo spacecraft targeted to launch to the station in June. This image of the dusty debris disk around the young star Fomalhaut was captured by our James Webb Space Telescope while studying the first asteroid belt ever seen outside our solar system in infrared light. To the surprise of astronomers, the dusty structures which contain three nested belts, including the never-before-seen inner belts, are much more complex than the asteroid and Kuiper dust belts of our own solar system. On May 8, the first pair of NASA's Tropics CubeSats launched aboard an electron rocket from Rocket Lab's Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand. The mission will use a constellation of four of the identical small satellites to fly in a unique inclined low Earth orbit that will enable them to observe tropical cyclones more frequently than current weather tracking satellites. Congratulations to former astronauts Roy D. Bridges Jr. and Senator Mark E. Kelly. They are the newest inductees to the U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame. They were inducted as the Hall of Fame's Class of 2023 during a May 6th ceremony at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.